Hi, I'm Sashi Chalaya, winner of Masterchef Australia 2018 and I'm the new ambassador for Meat at a Mount. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful lamb curry with some raita and rice. These are the ingredients you will need. Some onion, cumin, turmeric, garam masala, chili powder, paprika, ginger and garlic paste, a can of tomato, and meat at a mound lamb, which is GMO and hormone free, locally and sustainably sourced, and 100% Aussie meat. And you got some coconut cream, sliced ginger and coriander for garnish. I'm adding about three to four tablespoons of cooking oil. Once the oil comes to a, a good heat, I'm going to add the cumin powder. Cook in the oil for a couple of minutes until it gets a nice fragrant. Now I'm going to add the onions. I have two onions here grated. Let the onion cook for approximately six to seven minutes. It needs to get a nice caramelization happening. A good caramelized onion works very well with a lamb curry. Now I'm going to add the lamb. I would prefer the lamb to sit on a room temperature for a good 30 minutes. Adding a cold lamb to a curry, the lamb is not going to cook very well. So keep it on a room temperature for at least 30 minutes before adding the lamb to your curry. Coat the lamb with your onion and cumin. Let it sear on a high temperature for 2-3 to three minutes before adding all the other ingredients. 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, 2 teaspoons of chili powder, 2 teaspoons of paprika. Paprika is going to give the nice color and smokiness to the dish. And also about 1 teaspoon of turmeric. So much of health benefit in turmeric. I love using them. Give a good mix and allow the lamb to cook with the spices. The spices have started to split away from the oil. Now it's time to add our canned tomatoes. So I have about 400 grams of canned tomatoes here. I like using canned tomatoes because it has a, a very nice rich color and intense flavor. But if you choose to use fresh tomatoes, so be it, you can go for it. You can use about 300 grams because fresh tomatoes give a lot more liquid. So three to 400 grams of tomatoes will be good enough. Salt. I do not want to add too much of salt in the beginning. Later, towards the end, I will do some tasting and if I need to add more salt, I'm going to add 250 ml of water. Cover them and let it cook on a low heat for approximately 25 to 30 minutes. In the meanwhile, I'm going to show you how to cook some beautiful basmati rice. To add a bit of extra flair to the basmati rice, I'm also adding some butter and some spice with salt. For every cup of basmati rice, I use two cups of water. Two tablespoons of butter. You can use ghee or any flavored oil. So this spice mix has some coriander, cumin, chili and salt. Uh, this is going to give an additional flavor to the rice. I'm adding about one teaspoon of the spice mix. Firstly, bring it to a boil, then reduce the heat and cook the rice for 10 minutes. While the rice and the meat is cooking, I'm going to show you how to make a quick and simple raita. One grated cucumber, half a cup of natural yogurt, half a teaspoon or one teaspoon of salt, and a bit of sugar. Sugar is going to give a nice touch to the raita. Give a good mix and keep this in the fridge until needed. The meat is cooked. Now is the finishing touches. I'm adding about one quarter cup of coconut cream. and two tablespoons of garam masala and you are ready to serve look at the color so beautiful intense 
when you see a dark intense color like this you know that the masala and the spice has cooked so well with the lamb and this lamb is going to i'm very sure it's going to be very tender and it's going to melt in my mouth yeah this is a quick simple easy perfect lamb curry with meat at a mount lamb thank you for watching please like and subscribe and now i'm going to enjoy my meal Good. Squeeze a bit of lime.